Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing great today. So in this video, I'm going to try my best to explain to you in as many details as possible what you're looking at on this screen right here. So the reason I'm making this video is because every time I do a live stream, I always get somebody coming in and saying, hey, I have no idea what I'm looking at and I wanna know more about what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna make this video kind of simple, but it's not simple because what you're looking at is not simple, but I'm gonna kind of basically tell you one by one about what is on my screen and what it is you're looking at, more or less. And again, it's gonna be a little bit tricky because I won't necessarily go into the why of why each of those things matters to me personally because every trader sees the market differently for one and they also look at different things and they have different ways of displaying the same information all right so that's sort of how i see it so guys if you enjoy this content smash the like button because it really helps with the youtube algorithm and let's get to the video so all of these screens here are coming from one trading platform which is called jigsaw day trader and this is the platform i use mainly when it comes to my daily trading activities i use another platform to display some market context on my other screen that would be trading view you guys might be familiar with trading view it's a very popular charting platform but when it comes to looking at order flow analytics i use jigsaw there are other platforms that do the same thing i could do this with sierra charts i could do this with other platforms as well in fact a couple of the ideas I've got on my screen here came originally from when I was using Sierra charts and I was able to transfer them over and only use Jigsaw. So in simple terms, what you're looking at on my screen is order flow analytics of two markets. On the left, we have NASDAQ futures. So everything from this point until this point right here, this big box right here, that's everything related to NASDAQ futures. And I'm not including this on the left side here, that's something else. And then everything from this point right here until this point right here, that's S&P futures. And then all the way on the right side, I've got a ladder about the Russell 2000. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't have enough screen space to display everything I would wanna display for multiple markets at once. So I'm only displaying two markets here and the third one off to the side. And again, it's always a battle for screen space. I don't have a million screens. I only have one screen in front of me, one screen off to the left. And then the third screen, I just use it to monitor the streams and to chat with people on Discord, not while I'm trading, because that's very distracting. So basically two screens. I don't fall into the meta of the six screen traders, you know, maybe one day though. What I've learned about my style of trading is that in this case, NASDAQ futures. So from this corner until this corner, that's all the info I need in regards to NASDAQ futures right there, okay? So now I'll start by explaining to you a little bit about what it is. Um, you guys already might be familiar with what a depth of market is or a price ladder. So what you're looking at here is two price ladders, one for the NQ, which is the NASDAQ futures, and then one right next to it, which would be for the micros. I trade the micros. I look at volume on both the micros and the minis. So on these ladders, the info that I am displaying is, let's start on the left side here. So we've got the um, micros, all right, the volume profile for the micros, the price of the micros, the bids and the offers on the micros, and then the current trades on the micros. So every single thing that's hitting these boxes right here are trades that are occurring. So right now we're looking at the market, it's after hours here, 6.26 p.m., we're in the Globex session. And these are the most recent trades that have just taken place. So the market was just going down and we're seeing some selling occur and now this market is bid at 899 and three quarters and a half more or less all right price bid and offer volume profile current trades same thing for the e-minis price bid offer current trades in the middle again these two columns right here are just the most recent trades that have traded right now and i have this on a timer of i think 14 seconds that if the market trades at a price and then after 14 seconds comes back to trade the price the previous trading at that price is going to be replaced by the new trading some people have this set to a shorter timer i set it slightly longer anyways it doesn't matter anyways because i clear them myself anyways with a button i can clear it above the price and with a button i can clear them below the price and i clear them quite often so in the middle of my screen now let's move on here this is basically just the time and sales 
So everything that's hitting the current trades columns is also coming through on these time and sales here, except for one thing is that I do filter out the time and sales to not really display one lots. When the market is moving super duper fast and crazy, I don't really care what one lots are doing and I can see them on the current trades anyways, first of all, and I can see them being recorded in this delta and total volume figure second. So it doesn't really matter to me if I hear them in my ears because these two time and sales right here, number one for the NQ and number two, for the micro NQ, they're both hooked up to price squawk and I'm hearing them in my ears as the market is trading. So every time a trade hits the ask, I hear it on my right ear. Every time a trade hits the bid, I hear it on my left ear and it says either buy or sell and you can change those sounds. If you wanna know more about that software, it's called Price Squawk and it integrates directly into Jigsaw's reconstructed tape. I'll link to Price Squawk in the description. So from this explanation so far, you guys can pretty much see that all I'm looking at is the price and the trading at each price and that is essentially it. Next up here, I've got this little 15 second chart which is basically showing me the total volume every interval of 15 seconds and the total delta. If 15 more trades hit the bid versus trades that hit the ask, it's gonna show a minus 15 there. If 100 trades hit the offer and no trades hit the bid, it's gonna show a plus 100, okay? So that's what delta does. Unfortunately, guys, I can't tell you every detail about how I use it in my trading. I'm just telling you exactly what is on my screen. So now on the right side of the screen, which is the S&P futures, it's basically the same thing. You can see that I'm displaying the ladders, the current trades, and a basic footprint chart. I don't trade ES too much. I only trade ES when NQ gets too volatile and it starts moving like 10, 20 points in one shot and there's no liquidity. I move over to the ES because ES starts trading like the NASDAQ at that point. Um, so at that point, the footprint on ES becomes more reliable. Uh, but these footprints, I have them set to a five minute footprint. And all they're for is if for whatever reason I was away from the desk for the last two minutes and I wanted to just get a quick picture, a quick snapshot of where the last trading took place. All right. So I can see, okay, I can see there was some trading that took place at 906. And all of these trades here are the same ones that were recorded on my current trades. All this is here is that it's printing in bars of five minutes, whereas on the current trades, I can clear them whenever I want, for example, okay? All right, guys, so if I haven't lost you already at this point, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, <laughs> like Graham Stefan would say. Um, so again, 15 second rotations, volume and delta for NQ, 15 second volume and delta for micros as well. This one's for MNQ. All right, guys, on the left side of my screen, this is a trading view chart. I have it set to a range chart with my standard deviation channels or linear regression channels. And all I'm displaying on the absolute left-hand side of my screen here is the linear regression values. So what is the value of the mean over the selected look back I have? And how far away are the standard deviations? One standard deviation above and below and one and a half standard deviation above and below. That is the data I'm displaying right here on the left side of my screen. It's actually a range chart on TradingView. It's linked up to this chart right here. And I just hide that basically. Now, if I was trading ES, I would probably replace this footprint here with a reconstructed tape and I would have two reconstructed tapes in my ears, one for the minis, one for the micros. Let's go over to my other screen. I basically use this left side screen just for market context. That's all it's for. So I have a three chart set up here on TradingView. NASDAQ, S&P, and Russell. Most of the time it's set to that, but I can go and get whatever I want to. And um, normally I'll use this chart just to get an idea of the greater market context. I'll look at 15 minute rotations, 30 minute chart, and daily chart. The lowest I'll go is a five minute chart because I find there are some moments where the 15 minute is not offering a lot of clarity. So in that case, I'll go down to a five, but that's the lowest I'll go just to get some market context. I do not trade off of this information. This is only market context for determining potential trade locations. That's how I think about market context. So over here, we've got some slightly larger time frame footprints. And again, I don't always look at these. It's only if I'm trying to see a very specific thing. So I often have this footprint set to a 15 minute chart. But again, my trading style doesn't really require me to look at 15 minute charts. It requires me to look at the market right now and where it's trading, where it's currently valued. So that's why basically everything I need is right here, okay? You guys are gonna say, where are your eyes looking all the time? I'll tell you, they're looking right here, right at the bid offer spread 
and right at the time in sales. That's all. And I glance at the deltas and that is it. But really I'm looking right here and I'm glancing at the deltas. That's where my eyes are moving. This is the setup that I've been working on for over a year, okay? So it's not random. As some guys would say, they look at my screen and they say, whoa, how does any human comprehend any of this information? I have no clue what you're looking at. Well, in this video, guys, unfortunately, I didn't go into really a lot of nitty gritty as to how I use the info, but I did tell you what I'm looking at and how I'm getting the info on my screen through the platform Jigsaw. So you've got Jigsaw, Price Squawk, a bit of trading view on the other screen, and that's it. All right, guys, so I wish you guys a fantastic day. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And I'll catch you soon. Take care.